Okay, these are the Proline hole shot tires for my Mini T 2.0. We have a brushless edition. Um, I finally got a full set. We got one on each corner. So, um, one set is two weeks old and one set is brand new. And you can't really tell, well I say brand new, we ran a couple of laps on them. But you can't really tell the difference in them. You can't see any tread wear. I mean, two weeks difference and you see how much we drive. Uh, and you cannot see treadwear difference. I mean, it's just that I'm really surprised at, at the durability of these things. But uh, it's those square pins. The square pins having that that front edge being flat, they really dig into all that loamy material. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Maybe I'm trying to show you each tire out of focus. Make sure I get all four of them out of focus. I don't know. But yeah, those things really seem to paddle their way through into the, any of the loose stuff. Uh, okay, there we go. We're going to put them to the test. I already have. You'll find out. That's just so much fun. Okay, you see our track. It's We got you know concrete down here. And then grass to mud. It's been raining a lot. Uh, and all this is mud, but it's on top of hard packed clay. Uh, it's not squishy mud, it's just wet. But with these, the, the whole shots really just seem to dig in. It doesn't matter if it's loose or if it's solid. Uh, you see the kind of altitude we get in such a short run. And now that I have them on the front, the uh, turning... Oh wait, yeah look, the tires aren't loaded. I wanted to show you that. They don't load up with with dirt. They seem to expel all the all the all the debris. You don't get the the, the giant clay slicks going. Ah, oh, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, what's happening on the front? It, it seems to actually make a difference. I was surprised. I didn't think it would. I thought those those ribbed style tires that came on at stock. I, I figured you really couldn't beat those. I mean, you couldn't get much much more lateral traction than a rib. But uh, actually having all those little fingers seem to be grabbing a lot better. Look at that car wheel. That's beautiful. It takes a lot of skill to pull that off. It's a durable little truck, really. I mean, we just beat the snot out of it, you see. But see on the concrete? I mean, it really just, the grip is there. And it's not blown off. You see all this stuff piled up there. It's not blown off or anything. You still got grit. See the altitude we're getting in such a short run, and uh, I'm noticing a lot of the bigger jumps, uh, the landings aren't as bad because these tires are actually, I think the foam inserts in them are actually denser than the stock lacy tires, the uh, step pin tires. I think the foam in these is denser. It's it, when the when, when you land, it's almost like there's a little extra dampening. Uh, there's more thud and less bang. <laughs> And they also don't stand up as tall at wide open throttle with the expansion, centrifugal expansion. Um, they don't stand up as tall. It's like they're not collapsing in on the sides as much. So I really think that the foam is denser. And they seem to have a little bit more mass. I don't know if there's a difference in weight, but they, it seems like there is. They may be a little bit heavier. And not in a bad way. It gives me better control over the jumps. But really, I, I am enjoying these tires. On the front, it definitely makes a difference. Uh, side to side on the concrete and uh, in this turn here especially I really like this turn uh, it seems to give it better bite than that one we don't, before we used to have a push and we go straight to the fence no matter how, how hard you turn the wheel uh, I think once it got up on top of the grass you just didn't have any bite at all it, these, these hole shots they really seem to bite but I guess I'm going to sit here and watch the rest of the video with you guys for a little bit Maybe not the whole thing. Uh, Y'all are welcome to watch as long as you want. I'll just keep back and watch with you. Uh, look at that. The thing's got so much power. All of the way to just stand up and climb the hill. And see how much fight they have. I mean, when I make that turn at the end of the concrete coming down in front of that swing. I mean, if, if it didn't turn like that, I would be buying a new suspension arm every time. <laughs> Which for a little while it seemed like we were doing. 
We can get you. We, we can just carry so much speed across the top now. Remember, this is a mini T. This is a 118 still, and I'm running it through the grass that fast. Yeah, that brushless motor really pushes it, and having the tires there to, to transfer that power just makes such a difference. That is no stick. It's hard to appreciate how high you're actually getting. And that one wasn't so much. Yeah, the altitude that we get here is, is a little bit deceiving from this vantage point. We're about three or four feet up, and the jumps, we're going six feet. I mean, the, the two jumps that are there are about three and a half foot apart, and you, you see how far we're going past the second jump, or the second, what, what should be the landing. Look at that. <laughs> I enjoy this whole thing. A lot of people have time where they say, oh, yeah, I'm bored. I can't think of anything to do. Hey, I'm not bored. I'll do this. That's really enjoyable. And then recording it and messing with the videos and stuff. That seems fun to you. I, I tend to enjoy it. Well, I edited out all the nonsense and left a bunch of good clips. You guys are welcome to watch as long as you like. Uh, there's a really nice jump coming up where it gets sideways. Uh, maybe I'll stick it in. Look how tight it can make that turn. Yeah, those Portland Hulse Hot Towers are good. I recommend them to anybody who's got one of these. That little corner down there, that's got mud and silt and everything else in it. Still able to turn like that. Oh yeah, check that out. <laughs> yeah, that was totally an accident. Didn't do it on purpose. It just kind of did it on its own. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you to it. It's been fun. I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching my other videos and all the thumbs up you've been giving me. Uh, good for my self esteem. I appreciate it. Uh, Y'all have a good one.